Today we're going to make a very basic but important point. We'll make it briefly. If international trade is good when your domestic industry is competitive, it's great when your domestic industry is a monopoly. Let's take a look with some diagrams. Okay, let's recap very quickly. Here is our usual situation, domestic supply curve. Here is the demand curve. Here is the no trade equilibrium with the price and the quantity. Let's now add uh, that this country can buy as much as it wants at the world price. So domestic demand uh, increases, uh, domestic production decreases, we get a bunch of imports, and we know that that has two good welfare effects. We get increased gains from trade as people buy more, and we also get resource savings as production shifts from the high cost domestic industry to the lower cost world industry. That's a situation with international trade and a competitive domestic industry. Now let's look at what happens if the domestic industry is a monopoly. Okay, here is our basic uh, competition with international trade diagram. Let's now reinterpret this assuming that the domestic industry is a monopoly so we don't need the old price and quantity. And let's take this domestic supply curve and think about it instead as a marginal cost curve so the monopolist has the same structure of cost as did the uh, competitive industry. How do we find the monopolist's profit maximizing price and quantity? As you may recall from your microeconomics class, we create a marginal revenue curve. Profit maximizing price and quantity is found where marginal revenue is equal to marginal cost. Let's put those on the diagram. So not surprisingly, the no trade equilibrium with monopoly is considerably worse than the no trade equilibrium with a competitive domestic industry. For all the usual reasons, the monopolist charges more and it produces less. Now, what happens when we have international free trade? Well, when we have free trade, amazingly, the free trade equilibrium is exactly the same. What this means is that international free trade can force the monopolist to behave exactly as if it were a competitive industry. The only difference is, is that shifting from monopoly to free trade internationally, we get an even bigger welfare effect. So we get much bigger gains from trade since the monopolist was producing a lot less than with the domestic industry. We get a much bigger increase in the quantity demanded and the quantity supplied. And we also get some resource savings. Our resource savings here are smaller, but they're smaller precisely because the monopolist was producing less. So when the, we shift from the monopoly production to uh, world production at lower costs, from the high cost monopoly to the lower cost world production, we get some resource savings and they're small simply because the monopolist wasn't producing that much. If we compare this diagram with the previous diagram, what we can see is that the welfare gains from shifting from monopoly to free trade uh, are larger by this amount than if we shifted the competitive industry to free trade. I pointed out that the free trade equilibrium is exactly the same. Again, what this means is that international trade disciplines the monopolist. It forces the monopolist to produce as if it were a competitive industry. And in fact, the monopolist will produce at this point exactly the same, as I said, as if it were a competitive industry. Uh, so imports are going to be the same. We'll get the same amount of imports. Again, this is very important, particularly for small countries. So shifting from uh, a competitive domestic industry to a lower cost world industry creates gains from trade and resource savings. These gains are even bigger when what you are doing is shifting a monopoly to a free trade equilibrium. So particularly for small countries where they're going to be because of natural monopoly, because of economies of scale, perhaps because of politics. Small countries are bound to have a lot more monopolies than our larger countries. So international trade has even bigger benefits for small countries than it does for larger countries. Thanks.